friends uh, <coughs> before this uh, we see in the adaptation in the uh, two types of uh, animals that is the aquatic one and terrestrial one now we move towards the third that is the third type of the animals that is the amphibians we know that amphibians are the animals adapted to live on land and on uh, and in water isn't it means amphibian can live on both land and water we know that the animals live in the water are called the aquatic animals and animals live on the land are called the uh, terrestrial animal but there are some animals who live on both land as well as on uh, in ground ground so these are called the adaptation adaptations uh, sorry amphibians amphibians means an animal live in the water and on land are called the amphibians and which are the examples of the amphibians the frog this is the frog uh, we see and uh, this is the rainy season now and we find a frog everywhere if we just walk and uh, we go near the puddle or any water bodies the small uh, frog make a crook crook sounds and when we go near him he can hop and jump into the water so when we are uh, there at first the frog is on the land but after some time he can jump into the water and inside water also he can swim very well so in this way the frog can adapt to live uh, in uh, water as well as on the land for this purpose the frog do some changes in their structure and functional behavior so which are the uh, structural uh, changes frog do on the land <coughs> frog is breathe through the lungs they have a nostrils on their uh, head and from that nostril uh, he can breathe with the help of lungs like the other uh, terrestrial animals and when he swim inside the water or live inside the water he is able to respire or breathe through their skin their skin have a pores small pores and from that uh, pores the frog absorb the water and utilize the dissolve carb uh, oxygen for the breathing so this is the first adaptation means he can uh, breathe through the lungs on the land and inside the water they are breathe through the skin then we see the other adaptations uh, in the frog the frog have a four limbs we know that every one know that the front two legs are small and back legs are uh, big as compared to the small this uh, small or front legs this is the front leg help them to take off that's why uh, the when the frog is sit on the uh, land they look like like this means the front two legs can take off or they are keep away from the land in upright position front leg keep the frog in upright position and the back hind legs are uh, long and strong why they are long and strong because they are used for the hopping and to make the movements that's why they are very strong 
and uh, also uh, long as compared to the front leg. Uh, on the land, they are help for the jumping and uh, the front leg is uh, for the stand on one place. So, inside the water, these frogs have a webbed toes. Webbed toes means the skin is then uh, joins the finger of the that uh, back legs. This is the suppose this is the fingers and all these fingers are joined by the uh, skin and they, uh, they are web, uh, they are used as the pad in the uh, water that's why they are uh, this feet webbed feet help them to swim inside the water so these are the structural changes means their limbs are uh, change and uh, this uh, padded uh, paw, um, paws help him, uh, him to swim inside the water then the second is the amphibian breathe through the lungs on mm -hmm. the land uh, i discussed uh, it before uh, amphibians uh, breathe through lungs on the land like the other uh, terrestrial animal and through the skin or gills inside the water so breathe with the skin uh, listen carefully breathing with the help of skin it's called the cutaneous breathing it's called the cutaneous breathing the this is the uh, new term for you means uh, the animal those animals uh, breathe uh, through the skin that uh, breathing is called the cutaneous breathing so in this way these amphibians show the cutaneous breathing inside the water means they are able to respire through their skin and utilize the dissolved oxygen uh, in the water that's why they are uh, live inside the water because from uh, do the cutaneous breathing and the last one <coughs> apart from the two eyelids the frog generally uh, have a two eyes like us and just like us they have a two eyelids i also have a eyelids but this eyelids is not a transparent apart from these two eyelids the frog have a third eyelids or layer of the third eyelids on that head or their uh, eyes and that eyelids are transparent that eyelids are transparent and they help that is called the nictitating member that uh, transparent uh, membrane is called the nictitating membrane uh, which uh, allow them to see inside the water that uh, uh, transparent uh, this uh, membrane is transparent that's why they are able to see inside the water as well as keep uh, the eyes away from the water the water is not inter uh, inside the water why due to this nictitating membrane the water is not entered inside their uh, eyes and the uh, second is the eyelids are transparent therefore the frog is easily see inside the water and their uh, eyes are also uh, protected uh, by this uh, third membrane third transparent membrane so in this way the frog show some adaptations and easily lie on the land as well as inside the water means adaptation help them to live in both the environment thank you